Hey everyone, exciting news! Red Panda Connect is now part of the Red Panda ecosystem. If you're not sure what it is, this quick intro video is for you. Red Panda Connect, formerly known as Panthers, is your go-to tech for seamless connector setup experience. With a wide variety of connectors, you can effortlessly create data pipelines from numerous sources and destinations like S3, different databases, NATs, Kafka, or just different data stores. It makes building, debugging, and managing these pipelines a breeze, all with a smaller footprint, and guess what? No JVM required. Red Panda Connect is written in Golang, Go's powerful concurrent model lets Red Panda Connect scales really fast and efficiently. Go routines are very lightweight. Each Go routine starts with a tiny 2 kilobyte stack and grow as need. With a user space scheduler, it allows more efficient context switching and better CPU utilizations. For stateless data processing with highly concurrent and fire forget behavior, Go is particularly suited for these type of workloads. As Go's garbage collection uses a low latency concurrent mark and sweep algorithm without generational distinctions, perfect for high concurrency and real time apps. Red Panda Connect is a small statically linked binary, making deployment pretty easy. It can be done by simply wrapping the small binary with configuration files into a container image. And running them in Kubernetes can be just as simple as deploying these images. Red Panda Connect is runtime agnostic. At the core of Red Panda Connect lies a robust, flexible, and high-performance architecture designed to handle complex system processing tasks with a declarative configuration in single YAML file. So all you need to do is run the small binary. In this case, your good old RPK command line tools with the declarative configurations. And there you have it, a running data pipeline. The YAML file is basically structured by three main components, inputs, processors, and outputs. For the inputs, these are the sources from where the Red Panda Connects reads data. It supports various input types such as the Kafka, HTTP databases, or others. So the outputs are similar to inputs. These are destinations or sync where Red Panda Connects writes ingested or processed data to. It also supports multiple output types, of course databases, messaging queues, or different data stores. The processors is where the data transformations happen. You can add, remove, modify data field, perform filtering, windowing, multiplexing, and so on. Or you can perform more advanced processing by chaining multiple processors together, use conditionals, or even integrate with external services for data enrichment. There's lots of rich feature for you to discover, such as error handling, bubbling, where it makes mapping data intuitive, and can even handle unstructured data. If you're new to the tech, no worries, we've got you covered. The hardest part is always getting started. With our RPK command line tool, you can initiate the configuration YAML by simply typing in the source and the sync type, and you'll get a basic structure configuration to start with. The lint command validates configuration to catch its errors before running the pipeline. If you prefer editor, the Red Panda console can assist with auto-completions and suggested edits. Debugging is pretty easy. You can increase verbosity with different log levels, like the good old info, debug, and trace. Logs are centralized into Red Panda topics for easy monitoring and analysis. Worry about data loss? Red Panda Connect ensures strong delivery guarantees. It doesn't persist data during processing. Data is considered delivered once an act is received from the output. If something goes wrong, Red Panda Connect will retry from the last unacknowledged data points. It also has robust back pressure mechanism, pausing input consumptions if the output is paused, stopped, or busy to prevent memory overload. When it comes to managing Red Panda Connect, it exposes metrics to Prometheus, CloudWatch, and other open telemetry tools. There you have it, a quick overview of Red Panda Connect. There's so much more to explore, so dive in and try it out. Until next time, happy streaming.